Welcome to Dear Angel. I'm back. On today's Dear Angel, I have a few angels. It sounds like a bad thing. It's not, angels are not always bad things. The only bad part about it is they're no longer earthly things. So, uh, I'm going to say my mom for last because there's so much you got to fill in till her just about life. So I'm going to start off, I think I'm going to do Melissa first. Um, 21 has not been a good year when it comes to death. So, But I learned to just deal with it and keep on moving. Even when it hurts. And sometimes you don't realize how valuable a person is until that person is no longer here. Uh, like, when you pass away, this is for Melissa Talbot. When you pass away, it's like... You are that encouraging person who gives you encouraging words, especially like in the industry right now, it's so, so needed. When everybody was posting like their last text messages of you, from you, and we all pretty much had the same text message about how you loved us and how what kind of person you thought we was and, you know, just encouraging us to move on in whatever career that we wanted to do. So losing you Especially like at a time where I remember I told you how I love being in the film industry and all the things and I wanted to do and you was excited for me and you, you know, helped me either get people on the show, do the, the prices for the premiere, you know, you would just helped me tremendously. And to not have that piece of text message I could send off for that phone call to call you just for the little bit of advice. But even so, I still can feel your presence. And when I do something that I know that I would have called you for to get advice on, and when I go ahead and do it, and you're proud, you're so proud of me. Cause I know last <laughs> three weeks ago you truly would have proud of me. After you probably would have cussed a few yourself, you'd have been proud of me. So this is for Melissa Tablet, one of my dear angels, and you are truly, 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 truly missed. Well, welcome to the Dear Angel campaign. I am Kenya, and um. This is my first opportunity to be here, and I'm grateful um, to be able to experience this event. So um, I want to talk to my mom, and um, with my 10-year runway production anniversary coming up, um, I wish you could be here to see it because you inspire me to do runway because that was something that you were doing. Um, what, what I'm saying. <laughs> so uh, I'm just, um, I'm happy in a sense, but yet I'm still sad because you're not able to be here to experience the events. And you have a granddaughter that was born a year and a half ago and I'm currently taking care of her so things are a little different so I just wish you could be here to experience all these things I think that's all I got for now now this is for my mother in which we're familiar with I do this for my mom every year so, um, this is my third and actual third annual dear angel campaign um, this brings me peace and comfort. Everybody can't do this. I get it. Everybody can't grieve. Every, um, sometimes I wonder why some people grieve harder than the other. That's not for us to decipher. We constantly, truly try to do that for people. We'll try to judge them, you know, by not they grieving. Like I just told my cousin and I said, sometimes we, we tend to get jealous when people who don't even treat their moms fair or right still have their moms. So it's like we, we try to find ways to cope with our own way. This is the way they cope with me. Um, not at an angry stage, but more like disappointed in so many words. Each year is like, it's it's not getting easier. When they say it's getting easier, it's like, no. One minute you think you got it, the next minute you realize, like, no. I realize, like, I'm still going to be that, not that 40-year-old missing her mother. It's like I'm a little girl grieving her mom. And I'm trying to find ways to cope with it. But then every time I cope with it, here come another death. Another death. And it's like another serious death. Um, well, I know Bill is up there with you now. I 
don't know how that entry was. You probably had to bag God and let him in with that cane because he was coming either way it go. But I, I truly wish you was here. Uh, it's just so much more, so many, I need to hear, you know, I can ask you the question, but I want to hear the answers from you. I know you would have been able to help Lance a lot. I can see like it's like he trying to be strong, but the fact that it is my oldest sister, my my oldest brother, you know, I got to actually bury them. Grandma, forget you gone that time. <laughs> then she, you know, remind you gone, but she actually in good health. She in better health than most of us. She look good. She's still crazy. And she probably gonna show out at Uncle Bill funeral. I pray that you watch over that day. I pray you pop up any of them in their head who act like they shouldn't act. Cause you know you're about to really just sweep through something. <laughs> don't make it snow though. Don't make it snow or nothing like that. Um, as you just watch over your grandkids, like little Shamar always say, this is not easy for him. And I always keep in mind, if it's not easy for me, like I said, I'm grown. I ain't grown, grown. I ain't even 50 yet. But when you 40 some year old and you wake up and all you want that morning is you're happy for your breath. You're happy that you can breathe, see all your limbs. But sometimes you just want to wake up and pick that phone up and call your mother like you used to be able to. And that's just to simply say, hey, what you doing? You know, or even if I'm having a bad day at work or any, any, anything in life, you'll never realize how much you don't have that particular person to talk to. Because I can talk to my mom about anything. So whether it's men, sex, whatever, I can talk to my mom about anything. My job, how my brother get on my, I can't even call you a martyr get on my nerve. And he do. Like, he, he still just all over the place. But it's the comfort. And it's like, they kept tagging me and posting on Mother's Day for Mother's Day things. I had to tell them, like, please don't tag me and nothing for Mother's Day. And it's like, I'm like, Mother's Day is only two weeks away. It came kind of quick this year. But it's like, you see Mother's Day gifts every single wear. And it's like, you trying not to hurt your own feelings. Because that's what it be, we be hurt by ourselves because you got both your limbs, I mean, both your legs, uh, all your limbs now and then. You're probably truly happy with no aches and no pains. So, this, this is my third year. And if God put it on me to do it again next year, and if I always can help people by sending them a Dear Angel video to get through that process and that time, they like, I will. Um, I know that you're going to continue to watch over me and keep me strong. Even when I'm weak, because everybody think I'm so strong, but I'm not. I just thank you for raising me to be independent and caring. A lot of people don't even think I'm caring, but I got a good heart. <laughs> I thank you for installing that in me. I thank God for just putting this on me to do. Um, I'm going to forever miss you until I join you, and that's no time soon. Nope, that's not going to say that. We, I miss you enough, but I know you'll come back here, and I know you don't want to come here. I just thank you. I love you so, 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 so much, Mom. I wish you was here. Um, I wish you'd come visit me. Just give me a hug and whisper you okay. Continue to watch over all of us. Uh, continue to watch over Bill like you used to do when y'all was growing up. I love you, and I miss you, my dear angel. Welcome to Dear Angels. My name is Shanila, and my angel is Dorothea, my grandmother. Um, babe. Uh, uh, okay. Um, it's been two years, and we're like, I really miss you, and it's been hard for me to like try to get over it and stuff. Um, I can just have any memories about us anytime at school, at home, washing the dishes or anything, and I'll just start crying just thinking about you, and. Um, every time at school, I try to like stay focused and get through it and try to graduate because that's all you want for your grandkids to do is graduate and go to college. And that's what I try to do. And, um, try to talk to my mother more, even like, you know, our relationship wasn't good at first, but you brought us more together. And yeah, um, I've been talking to my aunties more. I've been working on my anger to stay calm and just every time I think about you it's just getting worse and worse but I stay calm and um, I just think about how um, how
how many I used to live with you over and over the years and how you just passed me so fast. I wish I could have more memories with you, talk to you more. So, yeah, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Um, and my dear angel is my mother. This is my second year not having a mother that's here with me. It's not easy. It's like super hard, but talking to more people that has lost a parent, their mother, and and dealing with it longer, it I ain't gonna say it get easier, but it gets better. Um, Mom, we definitely miss you. We definitely needed you a little longer because we like all over the place, your grandkids and your kids. We learning to work more together and deal with things more together than separating ourselves from each other. nervous as ever. <laughs> it's like I'm rewinding from last year. But um, definitely wish we had more time. Definitely wish it was just like, oh wait, just come back tell us, yo, I got this. You know, I've been preparing all this for a long time. But it's like, we ready, but we ready now because it's done, but it's like, we're super not ready at all. It's definitely something we still working on together. We'll be trying therapy soon. I still have like a lot of questions and we're still wondering so many things that you can't answer right now. But I definitely love you and we definitely love each other. You definitely taught us to stick together and we're definitely working on that especially with these kids. Um, and if you want your cat, you can come get her anytime because she was pregnant again. Um, <laughs> you definitely can have her. <laughs> but definitely missing you. And see, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> My next dear angel is for Lakeisha Red. Uh, I don't know, it's like we're not for our age at all. So some things in life we just will never understand. Just just will never understand. And we're always taught not to question God. And some things don't even seem real, you know, until you actually go to a funeral and see that person there. And for you, that was definitely one of those moments. And sometimes I sit and I'd be like, oh, she, you know, she can't be gone. Because in the middle of chaos, you was always a voice of reason. In the middle of a group of females that would see differently on different eye levels of things, you still would always be like a voice of reason. Um, Hard-working woman that taught us all to, to work hard. Even when you was like, oh, girl, you always at work. Girl, hell, you always at work. Probably the only person I know who worked some of everywhere in life. But how you always installed God into everything you did and how you always... It's told us to be grateful, you know, and to say thank you. Even when I'll be rude to a cousin, it's like, girl, you better learn to be nice to people. Y'all gotta stop being so mean. It's like, I know um, a lot of people think I'm just don't come around or stand off a lot more. No, it's, it's easier for me not to come around and deal with the grief of losing just any, you know, family and friends, period. And you are a person, a family member that I would see rather I went to my family function and when I came to yours, I definitely would see you at your family function. So it's like I knew you would always be there. So now, going to family functions is extra hard because I know if I go to my best friend family function, I'll have this person. You always say, hey, girl, so happy to see you. You know where you been? You just want to catch up on if you haven't seen them. So that's hard. I, um, I pray for your children daily because at 40 plus years old, it's hard for me without my mom. 
they're in their 20s. So I know that you're needed, but I know that you install good values in them. I know that you install God in them. So I pray for them because I know it's not no easy road. So I always keep that in mind when young people lose their parents, how difficult it is for me as an adult to lose mine. So I want to say I love you, Keisha. You are truly missed. You will truly, you truly will be missed. Um, if your kids ever need anything, I always let them know they can call me and get it. Love you and miss you. They're angels.